What is going on everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment back in Wreckfest once again here today for all of you and back at the Talladega Super Speedway in some pretty serious overcast. It said overcast. This is even more overcast than I was anticipating, but uh, we've got a little bit more Talladega terror on the menu for you guys today. Of course, Talladega always good for some thrills and I'm hoping that that is what we've got in store once again here today uh, driving this beautiful 12 car right here. So we're going to go ahead and and jump right into things here and just get it on the road because you know how Talladega usually goes. Those of you who have been with us before as we do this, usually gets pretty wild and crazy down in turn one in this this kind of creepy overcast. Like, it's just weird. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this affects the race, if it does at all, even. Uh, but I've seen a couple of real-life Talladega races that look like this before, but never anything in Wreckfest, so... Let's see how terrible things get down here in turn one. That's usually where things start to go awry uh, for Talladega. And there it goes up there. Nothing too, ooh, nothing too bad. Had a couple of them hook it up towards the wall. And that's a hard hit up there for somebody. I've got Davey Allison driving Jeff Gordon's Rainbow Warrior car. That's a very interesting combination. You got Ron Bouchard driving his Richard Petty. Earl Ross as the Kodak car. Got some interesting combos right here for sure, but we need to try and get ourselves an early win if we can. If we got a win early on, that would just open up the floodgates for the insanity that we could get into here at Talladega. So we're going to try and make that happen here. Oh, we got Jeff Gordon up here in a 24 car. So that's kind of fitting. Somewhat fitting here. We got Benny Parsons driving the one. He's number one in our hearts. Good old BP. We're getting outrun. I tell you what, they are just running me down on the straightaway. So I wanted to pull a little blocking maneuver on an Allison at Talladega. That's a bad idea. Oh, we made it work. All right, I'm just going to have to just really cheat that bottom line here and get a huge run through the corner in order to try and get through this one as I hit some debris there. But we've got a couple of cars. One of them thought about coming up the track. They didn't. I'm going to hook Jeff Gordon. Oh, he's going to come back up. That's going to be a bad crash right there. Somebody, oh, is everybody going to miss him? Wow. Oh, no, he did end up getting turned. All right, yep. He got hit in the end. Oh, and they're really going for it back there now. Yep, somebody was flipping wildly down the back stretch. Well, that is unfortunate. You hate to see it. You hate to be the cause of that one. But it seems like we were, and now we've got a mission in front of us here. We got Ryan Newman, no neck himself. And good old Dick Brooks sitting up here ahead of us as we're coming to two to go at the line that doesn't actually show up in the game. It's an invisible finish line, but we know where it's at. We know where it, we know it's there. So let's see. The backstretch usually turns into the place of terror once these races get a little bit further underway. So let's see if we have to dodge anything crazy this time by. Looks like we got some cars up on the inside. Doesn't look like they're moving too fast, though. So. Oh, one of them might be rolling. Kind of hard to tell. A couple of destroyed race cars up there. The Wrangler car. A couple of bad ones back there. We'll have to look at the replay after this race is over here. But we're getting a massive run here in the corner. We're going to get to Ryan Newman, I do believe. And got Dick Brooks up there in the two car. That two car sitting out front. And that's the way it ought to be, right? Throw Brett Keselowski in that thing, it'll get it done. But I have a chance to chase down Dick Brooks if I get a couple of nice corners here. I don't know. Do we got enough room here? Final lap, best lap. We could, could we complete a Talladega race with no damage would be the most incredible thing I think I've ever seen in my whole life. We just got to stick it to that bottom. Got by Newman. I'm going to get to the bumper of Dick Brooks down the backstretch here. He'll probably pull me a little bit down the backstretch, but it's all about that final corner now. Just got to hold myself. Got a lap car up there. Hopefully it's far enough away out of our problem area. All right, Dick Brooks, this is where I take the lead, buddy. See you later. Hopefully. I think we're by. Are we clear? I think we're clear. We're clear. He's going to get a last run at us, though. He's going to have one last shot, but I don't think he's going to have enough time. We're definitely going to get there. Dick Brooks finishes second in the two car, and we win right off the bat there in Talladega. He's roughing me up after the race is over, and I'm getting knocked out of the way by Ryan Newman. 
The race already ended, son, but there you go. Get an opening race win. You love to see it. Got that one done. Got a fast lap. Did we have the fastest lap? We did. So there you go. That's how you open up Talladega right there. You know what that means. An opening win means we get to go a little wild here at Talladega. So we won't change anything up too crazily because sometimes that opening corner can provide some insanity on its own. So we'll just run a couple more races just for fun. What do you say? Let's go back into Talladega here. So here we have our replay coming off a of turn two on lap two. Knock the 24 out of the way. He's going to make hard contact with that outside wall, but pretty much gets missed by everybody until the Wrangler car comes by and gets him clean from behind. And that looked like it had to hurt. He's going to get hit a couple more times. Man, the Tide car really came through and cleaned him out. And I believe that ended the race early there for the 24. The 15 had some hard contact back into the 28, destroying the front end of that 28. The 88's down there wrecking. So some big junk on the backstretch that we caused that I think uh, led to the taking out of about four other race cars. So, uh, our bad. Our bad on that one. All right. Our second race of the day underway. Had great success with race one. Managed to make a last lap. Last corner pass happened. Beat Dick Brooks to the line. Avoided any kind of carnage. May have caused a little bit of carnage, but you'll have that sometimes. Especially at Talladega which is coming up fairly soon after the Easter break. It will be Talladega time here for race one of two of the season, and that is a massive crash. Oh, that's got to be one of the worst unmodified first corner wrecks we've seen. Oh, my. Big jump down in turn one once again, and I've seen this, this story before here. Chasing down Ryan Newman with Dick Brooks out front. That almost seems a tad bit familiar. So we find ourselves right back where we were before with a run on the outside of Ryan Newman forming up here. Do I dump him? Do I dump No Neck himself? Do I do it? Ah, let him have this one. He's going to outrun me down the straightaway anyway, but we'll get back to him down in the corner here. Dick Brooks sitting out there by almost two seconds. So, uh... We'll have to see how much that backstretch is littered with destruction. Because, uh, oh, we got some carnage here laying in turn one and two. Got the 43 laying there. Another car on its roof. We got a slow car down the back. Will Dick Brooks be able to get around him without incident? We'll definitely have to see. I wouldn't put it past him. Ryan Newman in that butt car getting a little bit of a run on me. See if we can get the Dick Brooks right here. I can't tell who that is ahead of him. Is that the Tide car? It's hard to tell. This like shader of the uh, the overcast is kind of strange. It's kind of cool looking though. I like it. Not against it at all. See, I'm really running that middle lane. Well, I want to make up the big ground. I got to get down on the bottom. But we have plenty of time here to try and get there as we're coming to two to go right now. Ran our best lap, 58.89. Gonna get down here towards that bottom groove. Make up some ground on Dick Brooks in the corner. See if I can get to him. Potentially by the next corner, that is the Tide car. If I wasn't going insane, that was accurate. Never really looked off in the distance back there. There's like a lighthouse down there and everything. That's pretty interesting. Got like a little mountains right there. I've never been to Talladega, so. Couldn't tell you what the scenery looks like around the track, but I'd be interested to know if that's accurate at all. If you've been to Talladega, please let me know. So we've hunted down Dick Brooks with a little bit of an assist from Dave Marcus here, who might be slowing him up just a little bit, or I don't know. Both of them seem to be running a little bit faster than I am down straightaway. And this thing's only topping out at about 165. To get to NASCAR's real life uh, speeds, we'd have to be getting about another 35 miles an hour from where we're at now. But we're going to run that inside line, try to get that beautiful run. We got one scraping the ground up here. Is that Dave Mark? I'm going to try to come right up. I'm, if I'm going to, I want to try to get up top here. Oh, cool man, that was close. I think I just put Dick Brooks in the wall with that maneuver right there. I was trying to get fancy with it. I nearly cost myself a chance at the win here. 
So Dave Marcus, of course, is a lap down. He's got all kinds of problems. He's got damage. We're just gonna fly clean by him. And we are gonna get ourselves. My goodness, could it be? We're gonna be two for two, ladies and gentlemen, unless this car right here has anything to say about it. It's just hard to even see what kind of car that is. That Michael Waltrip's Pennzoil car, it indeed is, being piloted by Dale Jarrett. Pay no mind though as we fly by and win the race. Two for two, ladies and gentlemen. That is quite the accomplishment, especially for us here at Talladega, where sometimes we're lucky to win a race at all. So there you go. I think we're going to do one more just straight up race here, and then we'll move on to something else. What do you say? All right, our final pure attempt here at Talladega is underway. We are two for two. Do I dare even say it? Do I utter the words and say, should we? potentially go three for three what a celebration would be in order but uh, we managed to stay pretty much damage free in these first couple of attempts as well uh, which is pretty impressive on its own let's see how turn one turns out this time around though because they're getting a little bit squirrely up there there they go here comes oh it's coming down a little bit further back in the pack they're gonna hold on to it no we got a snickers car in the wall along with davy allison's car Trying to get a good look at it back there. It looks like everybody actually kind of minded themselves, so we've got a pretty intact pack here. Oh, no, there they go. They're in the wall back there, and it's a big one. Somebody's flipping up and over. It looks like they landed back on the wheels. Oh, and then a massive roll. A couple of them going in there. We're going to have to look at the replay of that a little bit later. But that was a pretty massive accident that ended up breaking out down the back stretch this time around. Looked like the Quaker State car might have been one of the cars involved in going around. And I've got one sneaking into my inside here. Who is that Ricky Rudd in this 10 car? Is he going to let me clear in my... Oh, man, that was close. Nearly could have turned myself right there, but luckily Ricky Rudd's AI gave me a little bit of room for once. The AI didn't bully me. I'll take that happily. Let's see if I can get up to Ron Bouchard here with this corner. If I can just get down a little bit below that double, ye that double yellow, yeah. All the way down there, get below the dotted line here. Hitting over somebody's debris. I think we got a car stopped on track up there. Luckily, it's a bright color, so I can actually see it this time. And that is a couple of cars that are going to be stopped in a real bad spot right here. And this is going to be big. And there goes the two car, the 24, the 15. It's a pileup. It's a pileup. Which way is going to be the way to go? Oh, Ron Bouchard, mind yourself. Stay down low. Stay down low. They almost came back up, and they're going around again. Wow, how do we get through that? Wow. Another unscathed. Wow. Oh my goodness. So now we've got a couple of guys up in front of us. Old No Neck sitting up in front of us in first. Jeff Gordon in the other 20, in the Cecil Gordon 24 car. So let's see if we can catch these guys with two laps left to go here. I'm just going to cheese it around the inside lane if I have to. If we made it this close to three for three, if we were able to avoid that accident, I think there's a, something's trying to tell us something that this is our race to win. We've got more carnage, more cars stopped down the back stretch. Watch out, that's gonna be close. I'm gonna watch out for this car stuck here in the middle lane. We got one down on the bottom as well. Just gotta watch ourselves, mind ourselves. Mind that 24 on the outside there, we get by him. I'm gonna even fly by the Kodak car here if I can help it. Come on, let me clear him off the corner. We got one stopped on the inside. Want to avoid that two car? Can I come up in front of the four? Oh, that was a big move. That was a real big move right there to clear the Earl Ross. All right, Ryan, come here, no neck. You know what happens next, bud. We've seen this hack before. He's managed to keep all four wheels on the ground here. Nobody's landed on him that I could tell. So he's having a better than average Talladega race sitting up front. But can we play the spoiler once again here and get to him? Oh, it's gonna be close. Gained a lot of ground there. We're gonna have to make it all happen down in the final corner. Can we do it? We've been pretty good at it thus far here. Wanna watch out. Don't hit that car right there, man. That is being stuck in a bad spot. About as bad of a spot as you could ever be stopped in. We've got a slow car up here, but we've got a fast race car on the bottom and we're gonna go flying by Ryan Newman. See you later. We've got Morgan Shepard in the 22. Absolutely destroyed, and he's gonna run into Ryan Newman. And I think he just wrecked out of the race. He's gonna wreck hard into the inside wall as well. 
and that will pretty much put this one in the bag right there. Another final lap pass, three for three at Talladega. There's not much terror to be seen here, to be honest, other than this horrible overcast that's going on right now. We're managing our Talladega look quite decently, I would say, so there you go. That's what it's all about there. Managed to sneak by what was looking like it was going to be a big wreck that caught up a lot of the leaders, and it did. But got off the throttle a little bit, got through that one, used the high side, and then tracked the rest from down. Got another win, three for three at Talladega. But we're not done yet, of course. Let's throw some extra mods in here. Let's have a little bit of fun. Well, what would a trip to Talladega be without inserting a little bit of pinball mod into the mix? And that is what we're going to do right now here, starting at the back. And uh, turn one's usually pretty crazy. It's giving us our fair share today. Managed to get by it all, but when you add the pinball mod in, you gotta assume that it's gonna be much harder to get through this time. So let's see. Can we survive turn one? Can we survive one lap here at Talladega? Sometimes that's a bit tough, but we have seemed to do quite well today. And we'll see pinball mod is working its way into turn one. Now oh, we're gonna get a head on hit right there with the Kodak car. But we continue on. We got 28. We got cars barrel rolling all over the place at 22 flying through the air. Oh my word, and could you believe it? We only lost one point of health throughout the entirety of that first corner. And we're in the top three. I'm I'm shook, to be honest with you. And uh I don't know if we're gonna have much of a shot at the uh, at the win being six seconds back on the first lap, but I'm sure they're going to give it a try, and, and some of those cars might not be done wrecking. Our leaders might not be safe yet, so we're going to see how this goes. We are going to try and hunt down the Skull Bandit right here in front of us, being piloted by Dick Triple as it stands right now. That's our next opponent, and Earl Ross absolutely taking a commanding lead, managed to get through all that action in the first corner, but you got to wonder, will Trouble strike him down before, before we can possibly, possibly get up there and pass him? We'll have to see. I'm going to run that real low line here if I can help. We got some cars kind of stuck in the actual low line here. Oh, we got a problem up here. We got a car flying up across the track. Did that take out our leader? It did. It sure did. Watch out. Oh, no. I about wrecked the car trying to avoid that accident, and I got into the lead with it. I clipped the end of somebody barely hanging on to the track, but Dick Trickle and Earl Ross came out on the way worse end of that than I did. Wow. That's about as lucky as you're ever going to get here at Talladega. That is... We might have just used up what little luck we have left. And I tell you what, this car is not wanting to turn. It's dragging the ground. It's doing a lot of things right now. And this... Looking at the, the time sheet here, this race might not be over. Dick Trickle just pulled me in a second through that corner alone. So... We might not be totally done here. You don't know. Unless he... May, maybe appears to have stalled out now at 13 seconds, but I'd say this one's pretty handily in the bag now. Not exactly our best fastest lap ever. Um, oh, but Dick Trickle jumps us in. I look at him now. He's at within nine seconds. Is that him right there? Wasn't Dick Trickle in the Skull Bandit, I believe, which is back there with that other yellow car. I've got to pay attention right here. A big collision right there. Watch out. Everybody watch out. We got a 24 car barrel rolling down the back stretch. Everybody. Oh, somebody's gonna pull up. It looks like that was a bad hit. That was a bad crash looking back there. Oh, the 20. The 28 just got creamed by Cole Trickle. Man, oh man. Lucky to get by that one. Just occurred to me, I never looked back at the replay of that other race, did I? We're going to have to look back at the replay of this one. Because this is where the insanity is at. But my, oh my. Final lap, white flag is in the air here. And uh, what a race this has been. Avoiding the contact and the carnage on the back stretch so far has gone well. But can we do it one more time? Because Dick Trickle got knocked back quite a ways there. I think we're good. Even with we're dragging the ground about as horribly as you possibly can. I think we're going to be okay here. Got some debris to get through, but looks like most of the cars have cleared their way off the backstretch. And that's going to allow us, hopefully, to have a pretty clean run here to the end of the race. 
So that's what it's all about here at Talladega. Surviving the destruction, especially when you throw pinball mode into the mix. You, uh, you get a, quite the cocktail for destruction. The fact that we were able to make it out of that. 95 health points overall. Lost one point right in the first corner. And we uh, had a little kiss with the Kodak car. But we were able to avoid pretty much the rest of the destruction without too many scratches on us. And we're going to take another victory. Four for four at Talladega. That is what it's all about here. We got to look at that replay. Because uh, some of those wrecks were just unbelievable. All right, we're sitting down here in turn one. We're going to look at some of the carnage here. That's going to break out, and there's a lot of it. There's an awful lot of it right there. Cars going everywhere, left, right, and center. The Skull Bandit sneaks through. Here we come, and there we go. But you got to look at the layers of destruction left behind in the first corner. That is unbelievable amounts of cars that just got destroyed in turn one and they start to respawn up the banking here we got cars in the grass the grass still killing my fps after all these races here at talladega and there's just there's nothing but carnage right oh bad hit right there for the 22 the 24 head on oh we got another one oh good thing that two car was a ghost or that 48 would have just ass packed him to the moon all right so turn one calamity quite bad here and if we continue on Eventually, I think we're going to come around this corner here. I don't remember uh, how far ahead we got. But there was quite a large. So here is the leader coming by. And then here comes the Skull Bandit piloted by Dick Trickle. And then us behind him. And we are going to continue on here because that car up there is going to get hit. The lead car gets knocked back. We get by him. We almost wreck into the that car right there and send him flying by trying to avoid some of the other destruction taking place. And we managed to survive all of that. Uh, a little worse for wear on the nose, but everybody else back here seems to be having a much worse time than we did, as uh, they're still kind of wrecking down there in turn one. In fact, they are wrecking down here in turn one of the Burger King Gargles for a moonshot down the backstretch here. And uh, I believe there's still another bad wreck to come here on the backstretch, because somebody, oh, bad hit right there between the one and the 85. These guys were barely even moving. And we're just going to plant the camera down here on the backstretch, I'm telling you. I think it was down here near the first sort of entry to the back corner here. This two car is going to come through here and just nails the Burger King car, of course. Sends him off the course and all. And there's a bad wreck waiting to happen, and there it went. The 27 absolutely nailed the 22, which was sitting there. Cold trickle, watch out! Oh, he just gets by. He just got by that 11 car. The 20, 24 is going to nail the 11. I like I'm just play by playing a replay of this destruction taking place back here. And there's another bad hit back here. And I didn't even see where that was coming from. Everybody was going pretty slow here. The 28 ass packs the 24. And there goes the 11 flying down the backstretch. And there comes us. Here comes us. And we fly through it all. And we're living. We're surviving. And they're wrecking down here. And they have not given it up yet. My word. And I think that probably... About wraps it up here as they maybe get to a little bit more wrecking down here. And yes, they do a hard hit for the 28 and the 11 there. And that car, whatever this car is, has seen much better days. Oh my word, look at the driver. Look at the driver. Look at the destruction right here. That one barely sneaking by. The 11 barely snuck by. Oh, watch out. Oh, the 48 absolutely killed whatever that white car was. Just destroyed him. And now... This is a bad spot. This is a real bad spot. Oh, he resets before anybody can get to him, or maybe not. Watch out. Oh, close. That was close. All right, I think that pretty much does it for Talladega here. Let's go back into it and have another run. See if we can go five for five with the pinball mod enabled. So we are currently four for four across all of our races here in Talladega today. And uh, could potentially go five for five if this one turns out well. I think we got pretty lucky on our first attempt with the pinball mod to get through all that destruction on a turn one with minimal damage and continue on. Everybody else pretty much got destroyed at one point or the other. That backstretch was insane, uh, as we saw. So we're just going to try for the best here, hope for the best. And they're already setting off like you're, like a bomb up here in front of us, and that's going to be a bad time. We're going to go almost into the infield. Absolutely destroyed on that fence right there. Can I pull it out of turn one? 
because this race definitely is not over. We nearly avoid the Kodak car running into that 28. And we are hurt. We are hurt. Our streak might be over, ladies and gentlemen. This car has seen much better times here at Talladega. It's dragging the ground on the straightaway. Well, this is going to be an interesting one. If we're going to have a chance of winning this, something is going to have to go very wrong for the eight cars and about to be more cars ahead of us as we're going to follow the top 10 right here. That 15 car gets by me and he does. We're dragging the ground. We're stalling out in the corner. Oh, we're going straight in the corner. I almost took out Bill Elliott. Didn't do it though, but man, this car is hurt. You can hear it. You can hear the, the sound effects. It's going absolutely nuts and I get nailed from behind. I got ass backed. And we saved it. Did a full 360 rotation and saved it. And that's a huge head on hit and around goes the country dime car. Oh my word, that was a brutal crash. We just hit that little jump that I always forget is there. But we get back into the top 10 with that maneuver. And what a maneuver it was. And we're gonna even steal another position there as something happened to Phil Parsons on the front stretch and wound him up in the grass. So let's see, that's a lap down uh, in the books here. 34 seconds behind Ernie Irvin and growing 35 seconds now. But like I said, something's going to have to go drastically wrong for the vehicles in front of us if we want to have a shot at continuing the streak to five. But I think this one might be all but over. We'll have to see, though. I'm not giving up on it just yet. This car may be hurt, but we're not quitters here at Soundhead Entertainment. We are not quitters. You guys know that. We all know that. We're going to keep going here. So we pulled in some time on Ernie Irvin. He's falling back down to 27 seconds. So you wonder if maybe he had a little bit of trouble there, got into an accident. Got Dick Trickle up here once again. We've got a whole gaggle of cars up here on the front stretch that are in trouble. Could we possibly steal some more positions? Looks like Ernie Irvin's time is still moving. Don't you pull up across that track? That's a bad idea right there. And the 15 is going to be out of this race, I do believe, with that takedown assist. No, it wasn't. It must have been the car that hit him. It must have been old Dick Trickle there. And we're going to sneak by the outside of Davy Allison here for a top five. We might not be out of this one just yet. I don't know. If we get this one back, it's going to be a miracle. It will be an absolute miracle, and I don't think it's going to happen. This car is hurt. Davey Allison's got a Superman run on the outside. On the outside. On the outside. But, uh, yeah, that one kind of looks like everybody else behind us. Dick Trickle's quite a ways behind us. It must not have even been Dick Trickle. Look, he's down there in seventh. So whoever got wrecked out... I must have had a hand in at some point because they uh, they took the L. They took that takedown, gave me an assist, triggered me, and now we're just holding on to this one. And that might have been a little bit of false hope there with taking some time away from Ernie Irving because it appears that everybody else is pretty much holding their ground. We got a couple of dead cars here right in the middle of the racetrack, and there's somebody got plowed up there. Oh, and they're going to come back down the racetrack. Just barely missed it. Bad times had by many. Oh, watch out, guys. That's a terrible crash. That's got to be one of the worst crashes I've ever seen. And that's going to put me in second. Ernie Irvin, you better die on this lap. Ernie Irvin, somebody you better clean him out. Somebody better take Ernie Irvin to the cleaners. It's too bad we're not at Michigan. That's an incredibly poor taste joke. But we're continuing on here. With second place, oh, I'm gonna hurt. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm gonna be sick with myself. We end up finishing second after all we've been through in this race, and it looks like it's probably gonna be that way. Cause he, oh wait, his times are dropping. His time is dropping. He's out of the race. We're in first. No way. No way. Somebody actually took Ernie Irvin to the cleaners. I am not only disgusted, I am appalled, but in a good way. How that's possible, I cannot answer. But ladies and gentlemen, the dream is alive. The streak will live. We have made it five for five at Talladega with an absolutely mangled car. But we did it. Best lap, an absolutely scorching minute and five seconds. I'm, I'm in shock, to be honest with you guys. I thought we were down and out. In that one. I thought that one was all but over. And the last lap. A miracle. A miracle at Talladega, ladies and gentlemen. A miracle at Talladega. You saw it here first. We are five for freaking five. And I can't believe it. I can't believe it. The, 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 just the luck. It's unbelievable. So. We have one more scheduled 
race in store. And you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen? That means that there is an opportunity to potentially go six for six in races and basically have a perfect episode. But that's kind of asking a lot. We just used up probably every last drop of luck we have. So if this works out, it's going to be something special. Let's go for it. It's no easy task either starting from the back, but that's where we are. And we are got to we just got to try and survive one more time around Talladega Super Speedway. And then we'll get into a non-racing element of this video. But if we can go 6 for 6 perfect in the races today, that would really just be the ultimate for me. Uh, so this is where the challenge really begins, and immediately I crash into somebody. Immediately the dream hits a roadblock. Can I get it back on the racetrack? No, I'm going to have to hit a reset. All right, we're down in 20th, but a lot of cars are stuck on that inside. They're in bad ways. They're still getting hit up here. DW is only nine seconds ahead of us, but our car is dragging the ground again. Our car is hurt. Oh, man. That was a tough first corner. Another tough first corner. I think that was probably... It was better than the last time, but obviously much worse than our first time through. It's Tim Richmond is just a little bit ahead of me. And check the name. That's Tim, not Timothy. Shout out to Winnip Racing. Oh, God. Turn. We're both having the same problem. We're both dragging the ground like crazy. Me and Tim Richmond over here. DW, I'm calling on you. You got to have an issue. I need everybody in the top three to have an issue. I got to take down assist randomly on the other side of the racetrack. For what? Who can say? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to call on some luck here. DW is dropping. DW is dropping time. Oh, wait, it went back up, but now it's still dropping, though. Oh, DW, what happened, bud? Oh, Ross takes the lead. Oh, Ross. Seven seconds out. Could something happen? There's DW right there. Oh, car gets slammed into that inside fence, and there's a bad crash. Oh, God. We take the lead. We take the lead. How do we take the lead during that sequence? I don't know, but we did. There was too much to unpack verbally right there. I don't even know what just happened. All I know is I got punched in the mouth and I decked somebody in the head. But we are in the lead. I actually am shook. Can we survive? Can we survive without the death? There's going to be two laps left to go once we come across the line here. Can we survive the carnage? Can we keep DW behind us, who's 15 seconds behind us and very well still much alive? And can we do it? This is calling on a lot of luck right here. If I bought a lottery ticket, I'd probably get every number reversed at this point with how bad my luck is going to be for the next who knows how long after all that I'm using up right here. Oh, DW pulled me in by a couple of seconds. He's pulling me in two seconds now. Pulling me in three seconds now. Down to 12 seconds, the gap. I gotta why I gotta keep my eyes on the road ahead of us, because we this is this is this is bad. This is real bad. These guys don't know which way they want to go. Don't you do it! Don't you dare! Oh my word. That was way more dramatic than it needed to be. DW, he is falling back. I mentioned his name, he immediately falls back. Back up to 18 seconds, 19 seconds, 20 seconds, the gap, 21 seconds, 22 seconds, 23, 24, 25 seconds is the gap. We are coming to the white flag here at Talladega. We are going to do one hell of an encore if we can go six for six, but somebody's flipping right here at the finish line with one lap to go. A bad hit right there, Jimmy Johnson. Who's that right there? Is at the 27. That's Rusty Wallace. Obviously going by paint schemes and not named Jimmy Johnson having another shocking moment back there. Tim Richmond is our only competition back there. 32 seconds back. DW has fallen to the wayside. 
Got to get through the debris field. Cole Trickle up here playing the road blocker. Not deciding whether or not he wants to get up on that racetrack or not. He's coming back up. Stay down. Whoever you are, stay down. That's DW. We put DW a lap down. We're going to do it, I think. Final corner. Final corner. We're home free. We just got to hold on for a few more moments. I got debris stuck to the front of my car. We're going to do it through the tri-oval. Perfection at Talladega. Six races, six victories. Can you believe it? It doesn't get any more perfect than that, other than maybe taking no damage, but good luck with that. Unbelievable. Six for six at Talladega with the pinball mod on for three of them. That's insane. That's actually insane. We did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. I thought for sure that the sixth race, we were going we to give it up. I thought for sure something was going to happen, and in the first corner, my shoulders slumped. I was like, oh, no, here it goes again. But we got it done, ladies and gentlemen. We did it, and now we got a little encore plan, don't we? We got a little something special that I think we're going to try out here, something I think is going to be pretty fun. Let's get into that right now. Well, already you know we're in a bit of trouble here, aren't we? We are here, back at Talladega, and we have busted out the good old Combine Harvester. It's been a little bit since we've touched this one here. It says, let's get smashed on the side of it. And I'd say that's probably in the agenda for what we're about to do here at Talladega. Uh, because those of you who have seen these videos before, you'll know uh, what we're getting up here. <laughs> we're getting up to here next. And this is going to be pretty, uh, hopefully pretty wild. So uh, we're going to start with the Combine Harvester. Let's get ready to go. Lit this thing. Gonna have to make a hard left here and get this thing turned around. I wanted a pony for my birthday. We're going over. We're straight up just gonna flip the thing over right off the start. Well, that's uh, not exactly how I wrote it up, but we'll get through nonetheless. And back on all four wheels and back up the track here. So um, this thing's kind of slow. Obviously, topping out at about 52 miles an hour, breaking land speed records, as you can see. Not really sure where I'm going to meet up with the rest of the cars. It might be somewhere in the corner here. Might be going into turn one. Or uh, turn three, rather. So, it uh, should be pretty interesting to see how this goes. Um, this thing's already kind of hard to control on the banking. With that rear steer. Not exactly helping out in this scenario. But, I see a couple cars coming at us. We got one coming at us right off the bat here. I might skip the first car and try to go for the next couple of them in line here because we got a line of them coming up and we're going to have a head-on hit right here and that's a massive accident. And we're doing a spin move and getting a couple more of them as they come by. And that is taking out quite a few cars already. We've got some more coming at us. Looks like there was a pretty big wreck on the first lap that might have taken out some of these cars. we got one over the fence there. The 85 is gone off the track. He's going to have to try and find another way in the racetrack like I did that one time. Can I get one of these guys? Yes, we can. Oh, destroyed that car. Set him up in the air and everything. Was that the 9? It's hard to tell. It came by so fast. I think it was the 9. Either a 9 or 11. All right, let's see. Who is coming up next? We got Cole Trickle. Cole Trickle, can I hit him? Oh, he, he kind of hit me there. I was falling down the racetrack here, not having enough speed. Let's keep going. Let's get this ship turned around. This thing is a big old just hoss of a vehicle. That's not exactly easy to drive, but we got another one coming at us right here. This is the Bud car, and it's that's hard. That's a terrible crash. And I don't know who it was. Was that the, the Tide car that came and got us again? And we just we just spiked the 10 car into the fence. Brutalized him. And we're, we're dealing with some pretty serious damage here on our harvester. Come on, let's see. Can get another head-on hit into the six. Making my camera freak out. We got Benny Parts. We got another one coming at us hard. We got bad crash. We got a 24 up in the air. Get a 24. Doing a real dive maneuver right here. Oh, bad crash. Got bad crashes forming behind us. We got a fire in the engine, it looks like. We got the wheels. Are, are just having a moment out here. This thing is not wanting to drive. There we go. We got the 17. And we took ourselves out in the process. Well, how about that? There you go. 
a solid opening run right there to destroy some vehicles. Got a couple of them down and out of that one. The destruction really started on the back. This thing's too slow. We meet them in the first corner or the third corner there as we come off uh, to the back stretch there because they're just so much faster than we are. So let's give it another shot here. I don't think that one was big enough to look at the replay. I don't think anything absolutely insane happened that we didn't get a look at. So let's just go ahead. I think we'll do three attempts at this. So that was number one. We'll jump into the next one right now. All right. We got some cars coming at us with a full head of steam here. Gonna have to get down the track a little bit. We're gonna hit him head on, and that's gonna knock us out of the way. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. I landed on my head. And we are deceased. Well, that'll do it. <laughs> we just got rocked. In a world where we usually wind up on the better end of things, we just got owned. By whoever that was. Wow. Well, I did not expect to be on the losing end of one of these runs tonight. That's kind of <laughs> spectacular. Well, alrighty then. Well, on to the next one. Okay, coming off of turn three once again here. We got the cars headed straight for us. This is going to be quite the matchup right here. That's a little bit of revenge for last time. We're getting the spin rooney Oh, cold trickle hard into us. Hard on the side. Am I going to land on my head? No, we survived the head landing this time. But we're in a bit of a bad angle right there we get off of the the ways we've got some destruction laid out behind us let's see can we get a few more of these guys so we got a couple more of them coming at us here we got one i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get up the track to get is this the bud car yeah it is hard into the fence and landed on our combine here and i'm just gonna shove him out of the way and i'm gonna take him out of the race at this point it's kyle petty he's gone enjoy your last place finish you you picked the wrong combine harvester to mess with today. Let's see. Who's this? Wrangler. More like dead. Bad hit right there. Another takedown. Morgan Shepard on the brink of death. He lives, though. He gets away with that one. Who's this? Burger King car? More like Burger Gone. And I am doing the mating ritual with this 15 car, the Wrangler car, and there went DW, and there goes a bunch of them. And nearly goes us. And that one of that, car, that one car is just now landing. Oh, and it almost landed up there in that little stand. Well, we've got five health left. This next one's probably going to wrap it up for us. Here we go. And there it is. Jeff Gordon finishes us off after a hit from Rusty Wallace. And that will do it. A nice bit of destruction once again here. I feel like we got to look at the replay of that one. I think that was the best one we did yet. Let's take a gander. So here comes the Combine Harvester. That's just such a ridiculous sight, isn't it? And here comes the 22. The 22 gets absolutely rocked, and so do the couple of cars behind him. The 24, the 6, get going. The cold trickle ran up underneath us, I remember, and he got creamed by a couple more as they went by. Tough break for those guys being the first to come through. Then we kind of work our way back up here, try to get that thing turned around, and I believe there's a bud car that's going to come up here that's going to meet its maker, and it's going to have a real bad time. As here it comes across the track we go. Oh, tough, tough hit right there for DW. He kind of drags us down the track with us, and then we just we just go full bowl on him right here. And uh, that's going to be the race ender right there for the 11. We got a few more coming at us here. We got, who is that? That's the 15, the Wrangler car absolutely destroyed. We got another one coming at him. Was that the 28, the Hardy's car? Yep, 29 rather. Let's see, who else came in for some more? Get the Burger King car, that's right. The Burger King car was Burger gone. Over the fence and everything. Clears the fence, and here comes some more. Yeah, the tide car gets hard. That one, there you go. The one car absolutely launched and into that stand right there. And then we had just a couple more hits left. We turned it around for the final charge right here against the 27 and the 24. Hard hit by the 27 and the 24 finishes us off. And that is Talladega in the books, ladies and gentlemen. That will do it. Hopefully, you guys here will fly over back to where the cars and everything else is located at. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. Some Talladega terror here on a Thursday. And uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, and I know a couple of you have because I've gotten comments about it. But uh, if my calculations are correct, and they are, uh, this is Wreckfest video number 99 which means you know what episode number is coming up next. So 
be sure to keep your eyes peeled for that. That's sure to be a, uh, a pretty fun one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, though. Thank you all so much for your continued support. I really appreciate it. And, of course, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see uh, in the upcoming episodes of Wreckfest. As I'm down to continue on for another 200 episodes, 300 episodes, 1,000 episodes. Who knows how far this thing will go, but it's sure to be a lot of fun along the way. So thank you guys again so much for all your support. And with that, that'll pretty much do it. So thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!